AT&T and Verizon likely need C-band before activating 5G standalone cores, according to an analyst. This is from Linda Hardesty of FierceWireless.com. I've been saying this for a while. The standalone cores are, are there. All right, the standalone networks for 5G in which 5G NR does not require an LTE backbone to operate. So if you take the LTE connections away, does 5G still connect and, you know, operate independently? Currently, the answer to Verizon and AT&T is no, they don't stand alone. All right, it's not an SA network operation. T-Mobile is kind of sort of doing that, I think, with some standalone N71. It's not great. It's not a great performer. They're just doing it to operate it, you know, be a 5G leader or whatever. And they, I think they're doing it with N41 in some locales, you know. Uh, but really, they're the only one out of the major three carriers that can do this, with the exception of DISH. Of course, they're a standalone 5G network whenever they go live. And the thing here is, it's, it's the spectrum depth. You know, they simply don't have the spectrum. All right, so what do I mean by this? T-Mobile has an incredible swath of N41, 2.5 gigahertz spectrum from the Sprint merger. Therefore, they can do and they can operate a standalone network core because they have the really wide channel depth, right? They've got 160 megahertz national of that N41. AT&T and Verizon simply don't have that. Now, C-band is a go, right? We've got the most recent Spectrum auction in which AT&T got 40 megahertz. We got, uh, they have 40 megahertz from the A block of C-band that they're kind of sort of using, borrowing, whatever with Verizon. So that's 80 megahertz. That's still not enough. Verizon's got 60 for now. That's not enough. So they need that next set of blocks blocks b and c which then verizon's like 160 180 200 megahertz of c band and then at&t goes from 80 combined with the dod spectrum and you know the 3.7 they go from 80 to like 120 megahertz i think okay so and maybe 140 and i think some of their major peas they're whatever so, like, then they have it. Then you can talk about a standalone network. But that's why I think a lot of times you look at Verizon, they're talking about accelerating their standalone network. They've, that means then they have to accelerate that second and third block, the BC blocks of, of C-band of N, for N77. And AT&T is going to need that too. So what's the big deal about 5G SA anyways? Well, you get the best spectral efficiency. You're going to get the most capacity, the most throughput, the most out of your bandwidth. All right. So it's like getting the most squeeze out of a lemon and you're going to get better range and you're going to get lower latencies. It's everything that whenever people talk about 5G, it's what it actually really is. What we've seen till now up to this point is non standalone 5G and it requires LTE kind of to carry 5G in a way, which is weird to say it. The old technology only. <laughs> you know, being able to enable the 5G. If you take away the LT, what is the... The 5G can't operate. It doesn't run. So this is what we're waiting for. Expect Verizon at the end of this year, AT&T around the same time or shortly after, but it is 100% correlated to the spectrum that they have dedicated to 5G, which we know is going to be all of that 3 gigahertz goodness. The 3.45 gigahertz Spectrum Auction 110 that just finished, the 3.7 gigahertz N77, you know, this combination of those two spectrum, now it's going to be a go, all right? And when it does go live, it's going to be great because that's standalone networking, all right? So Timo will likely be first to this, then we'll see Verizon and AT&T. Your thoughts and opinions on this article, you know, what they're talking about, I, you know, this is something I knew, something I understood going into this, so not, not surprised, but just as a, a reminder to those out there, where's the SA from Verizon AT&T? That's the holdup. They're going to need that bandwidth to do it. Uh, go ahead and comment down below. You are the voice of the people of the SMT Nation. Let your voice be heard. Please like and share this video. Subscribe for more. Turn on bell notifications so you never miss an upload. Email and Twitter handle are in the description box, as well as my Patreon page link. Support us there. Get early access to videos, exclusives not found anywhere else, and discounts on most mobile promotions just for supporting us. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys soon. Peace.